Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Viola Push and I've been doing modeling for 14 years. So if you are watching this video, most probably you're into modeling or you want to learn more tips and tricks on how to get better at posing. Today, I wanna to share with you my top tips on how to look good on every picture. And tip number one is lighting. It's actually one of the most important things on the photo. So when you're shooting indoor, uh, make sure to put your face towards the source of the light. And if we're shooting outdoor, my big advice to you to avoid shooting on the daytime when the light is coming from above of us. And then we're getting those ugly shapes under our eyes to shoot either in the morning or in the evening. And if it, if it just happened that you have your photo shoot on the daytime, my big advice to you to go in the shadow. That is gonna play a big role for you in your photos. Uh, tip number two is inspiration. So whenever we are getting ready for a photo shoot, my big advice to you to prepare professionally. I want to give you an insight on how it's happening as a model photo shoot. So whenever I'm getting booked as a model and I come to a job, then the photographer or creative director have to brief me in on what I have to do. So most of the time they're trying to explain me their idea by showing me their mood boards, how I have to pose, what is the idea of the photo shoot. So when they're briefing me in, it's much easier for me to understand what I have to give to them. My advice to you before any photo shoot, prepare a little mood board of what kind of poses you can do, what kind of mood are you going to have for that photo shoot. So then you are a tiny bit more prepared for it. Go on a Pinterest and create a board. And then from there, it's much easier for you to just pin the photos in that folder. So then you can breathe in also the creative person on the other side to explain them what do you want. Tip number three, focus on your legs. So a little pre-story. In my techniques for posing, I always teach that we are starting from the bottom, building our pose to the top. So I want you to imagine that we are kind of like a tree and we are growing our roots and then from our roots we're building the pose up. So this is why legs is actually the most important part of your pose, especially if we're making a full body pose. If we are getting scared or awkward, we just kind of tend to stand still and without posing our legs. As you can see, it almost never looks good whenever we're standing super still. So my advice to you to follow the technique where we're building our pose from bottom to top. And how we can do that is that we have to relax one of the hips and then this leg is going to stand still without moving. And then the other one is going to make 360 degrees around. Do, 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 do. While you're doing that, you can focus only on your hands and face while moving the leg repeatedly, exactly the same. Boom. So whenever you are catching yourself on that feeling, remember to put your legs wider. Number four, perfect your confidence. Yes, you can fake your confidence with your body. And if this topic is interesting for you, please let me know in the comments and I'm going to make another video only about that. So whenever we're feeling shy or uncomfortable, what is happening with our body is that our shoulders are going in front, our chin is going down, our eyes rapidly move around and looking down, and then we're closing ourselves. So actually our body can tell us a lot of how we feel. So whenever you are catching yourself on a feeling, you can actually learn and reflect on how you can build up the confidence, even though you don't feel like that. So I'm going to share with you a little tip on how you can fake your confidence. First of all, rolling your shoulders back and down, and then our chest is expanding in front, showing to the world that we're ready. But make sure that it's not too much in front and then we're looking like an airplane, then it's another awkward. So we're keeping it still, but our chest is expanding in front. Then we are expanding our neck and putting our chin a little bit lower. Our eyebrows and eyes would be the first thing that is going to be in, at the viewer and it's going to make us look more confident. Number five, prepare your emotions. Non-models have usually one face at the photos and sometimes it looks like this and super awkward. So my biggest advice how you can improve it 
is all about practicing. In this case, it's the best to practice in front of the mirror and give yourself a task. For example, I want to look happy or I want to look sad. I want to look angry. And then you can practice with your face different emotions. For instance, I'm going to show you my Ready, examples. Go. This is my happy face. <laughs> this is my angry face. This is my dreamy face. This is my sad face. I know it might look funny right now, but as more you practice, as better you actually get with your portrait. Tip number six, staged candid photos. So we want to create a candid moment and my big advice to you, this is something that I use a lot on the influencer shoots, is using your props. Most of the time we just don't know where to place our hands. This is when you can come to that point when you can use a cup of coffee for the photos, when you can help yourself by getting a book, a newspaper, sunglasses. If, for example, we're focusing on the t-shirt, is fixing up the t-shirt or pants or high heel. And you can also give a little story to the picture. And the tip number seven is use your surroundings. When someone is throwing us and says, Okay, pose here. Uh, it gives us a little chaos and it's the hardest actually to just stand still with nothing around you and strike the poses, even for models. So this is why my biggest advice to you to take a look around and find something which is surrounding you that can help you. And it could be like something that you can lean on, right? So it could be basically like a wall if we're doing it outdoor where you can know you can lean a little bit and help yourself to like put your hand somewhere. If it's in a studio, you can use a chair to help yourself because it's much easier to pose on the chair. It could also be sitting on the ground. So whenever you are out of poses, this is something that you have to say to your brain to do. I hope those tips will help you in your next photo shoot. Otherwise, I'm looking forward for your comments. And of course, leave a like and subscribe my channel if that was something that you were interested in. Ciao!